Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the KTLC Fanbase channel. My name is Joey and today I have some good news and some bad news. So we're just going to jump straight into the news. Um, but before we do, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated. It's the best way to support us and comment down below your thoughts on the news. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to say it out loud. Book 10, unfortunately is delayed. Aww. Shannon Messenger has pushed back book 10 to 2024. And it's it's kind of it's kind of a blow. It's it's a big blow. I can't tell you how excited I am for book ten, and to be for it to be pushed back one year, that feels like a lifetime to me. And I don't know. It's just right. We have to live with it though. And now for the good news. Um, the reason for this is that Shannon Messenger is pregnant with a baby girl. So congratulations, Shannon. I want to see that in the comment section. Ah, uh, but it, it kind of like weighs out. Like, is it good or is it bad? And before I read her whole post on Instagram, that we, which is going to explain everything, I just want to say that for the record, our video from last week, th this is what Austin said. Just roll the clip. And there's also a question in, what if Shannon has another baby? I mean, this... <laughs> So he just said that like 100% joking. He was he said that as a joke, and it, it's just so ironic. I I didn't think it was gonna. I did not think this was gonna happen. So um, shout out Austin for that prediction. He he couldn't be more right, honestly. So we're just gonna. I'm just gonna read over the Instagram post, and then I'll share my full detailed thoughts. I know I've been MIA lately, and I know you also have lots of questions about Keeper 10. So I thought it might be time to share some news I've been keeping private since it feels strange to share something that's personal in such a public space. If you swipe to the next picture, you can see what I've very carefully been cropping out of my other selfies and why I wore loose dresses on the saloon tour. I'm having another baby. Part of me wanted to wait until she's here and I can hold her in my arms before I announce anything, kind of like what I did with my son. Since growing a tiny person is hard, even without bringing the internet into the mix. But. I figured I should probably share why I haven't announced the release date for Keeper 10 yet. So here are two things that I know. Number one, Keeper 10 will unfortunately not be coming out in fall 2023. I know you're dying to see what happens next and I can't wait to share with you, but I have to prioritize my health and the health of this needy little girl over deadlines at the moment. Please know I'm still working as hard as I can to get the piece of the story ready for you. Number two, Keeper 10 is definitely happening. If you've seen anything online saying otherwise, it's totally false. And remember, the only place to find official Keeper announcements is here on my social media. Also, this fall, there will be an amazing Keeper graphic novel to help fill the gap. And trust me, you are going to love it. And thank you for your patience and support and understanding. Someday, I can't wait to show this little girl how amazing her imaginary big sister fans are and how they gave me the time and space I need to be a mom and a writer of impossibly long and complicated books. XOXO Shannon. She just dropped a bombshell on us. I got this notification in class that she posted a, a photo and I checked it and I just like couldn't, be I couldn't believe it. I immediately just texted Austin and Troy and we were all just laughing about how we actually predicted it. So yeah, that's, that's the news. Book 10 is going to be delayed to 2024. I'm assuming it's just going to be fall 2024 because she hasn't released a book outside of November, I think. And I'm also 100% sure she pulled a little sneaky on us. She's known that she's been pregnant since the saloon tour. And probably before that too a little bit and she quickly whipped up a little graphic novel to come and release which i am not complaining about that is a really good thing like gap filler but i, I know what you did and listen guys please do not be mad at shannon messenger for having a baby don't get mad at her that the book is pushed back it she she has a 100 percent totally valid reason for this okay so I, I really don't want to see anything bad about Shannon Messenger in the comment section below. In the comment section, actually, instead of that, tell me right now how you feel about this. And we do have an update on the graphic novel. It's nothing huge. Basically, the Canadian um, release date is the exact same day as the US release date, November 7th. So Canadian viewers, uh, get excited. And she also said that I know everyone's dying to know what the art is going to look like. And I promise we'll share it as soon as we can. In the meantime, trust me, it looks so amazing. She has captured the keeper perfectly, and I can't wait for you all to see it. And if we go to the artist's Instagram, uh, I'm liking what I see with the art style. I think it's it's kind of comic booky mixed with, I, I don't, don't know how to describe art, I'm sorry. But I like what they're doing. 
and you got to keep in mind not every, every single panel of this is not going to be fully detailed so you it's impossible to keep up the pace of like a, a great drawing for the entire book of 400 pages or something so you can't expect the art to be to look that good also i think there's an update on how long the graphic novel is if you go to the pre-order link which if you didn't know you can pre-order it right now it says that it is 350 pages which i'm i'm excited i didn't think it was going to be that much i'm glad we have that much content but there's probably gonna be a lot of just like full page um panels i that's, think that's what they're called so it's, it's a little bit inflated but yeah 350 pages that's pretty good um as i said you can pre-order it right now we'll have a link in the description and whenever the cover comes out, whenever there's teaser art for it, we will be there to update you guys. So stay tuned for that. And I think that's all the news for today. But there's been a lot. That That's a huge revelation. I was getting a little bit scared when she wasn't posting anything about book 10. And now we know why. Because around this time, she would normally at least post a release date or even the title. So I guess that makes sense now. So I know it doesn't feel very good, but let's think about the upsides. Let's see why this is actually a good thing. So number one, she is given a whole year, a whole year more to write this book. Book 10 is supposed to be the last book. We still don't like officially know if it's actually going to be the last one, but now she has more time to decide that. And if she does decide to make this book 10, then she has all the time in the world to perfect this book, to plan out the whole thing. She really has the time to fuel out this entire thing. And I think that's just all she needs. I really want the best ending for the series. And I think this is a, a good way to get that. And if, if it takes a whole nother year, I mean, I really do want to see the best ending. I think that's what I believe. So yeah. And the one last thing, it's just really funny how people have been saying I started the series when I was in middle school and now I'm about to be in college. It's like a meme. But I started reading this in fifth grade and in 2024, I'm going to be a senior when I'm reading book 10. That's crazy. Um, Cause if you think about it, if Shannon did like, didn't take that break for unlocked or didn't like take this break as she, as she's going to Stellar Loon would have came out in 2021 and we've already would have read book 10. If you think about it, this in increases longevity. It provides us with more content with the graphic novel and it makes us have the best ending possible. So all in all, it's not that bad. And yeah, so uh, I don't have that much more to say about it. Let me know how you feel in the comments. That's gonna be it for me. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. We are so close to 15,000. It's like, it's on the edge. It's on the tip of my tongue. If you guys wanna help us out and reach and get us there, it will be very appreciated. And yeah, that's, that's gonna be it for me. And I'll see you guys next week.